This hey must there. be a serious breeze if, hey if the guys are all going to the front They're side, huh? Thumbs. You got it up? I would do two, but I'd use my stick for the second. Move like a Cadillac, as fast as a Ferrari. This horse is amazing me, and it gave me goosebumps watching him work today. It just went so easy. It's fast time, but it looks like he's galloping. When Tammy started off, I thought she was going too slow. I was starting to get a little aggravated, and Big John over there started clicking off the times. And it just looked like he was galloping. What's the best part of the, the work, watching it? You know, his rhythm and how smooth he is. It's different than watching most horses. You can tell how fast most of them are going. He just looks like he's skipping over the ground. He's so efficient. And you can tell even, uh, like, turn for home, he just picked it up again when he switched to his right lead. When he pulled around and turned, finishing up the last 100 yards, he just looked like he accelerated and then didn't want to slow down. He still only run the equivalent of maybe two and two and change times with the the first one when you know being the aborted race. But how much room is there for improvement, considering how lightly raced he is? Well, that's what's scary about this horse. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't. Nothing phases him. Nothing rattles him. And uh, you know, I don't know where the where the bottom is. He. he there's a lot of room for improvement. We haven't seen the best of it. But looking at what's happened across the country, your thoughts going into the Breeders' Cup? Right now, I think, uh, uh, since Barkley's not taking this horse, he says there's three top horses going in there. And that's Bob's horse out in the West Coast, Brendan's horse that won at Keeneland, and ours. Uh, I'm sure they feel the same way I do. And I don't probably trade places with anybody. But I'm telling you, this is a very special horse. Never run second, never run third in the juvenile. And, uh, this horse is, is doing things that even they didn't do at this time of year. Uh, final question. You are going to go out about almost two weeks out, and you're going to have your final breeze at Santa Anita. Talk about the decision to do that. Well, all the feedback I get is the racetrack's pretty deep, and it's worked for me to go out early before. I mean, we've run well out there going out early and getting to work over the racetrack. So it made sense. The first plane going is on the 20th. We'll work here on that Friday. We'll check them all out on Saturday, get on a plane on Sunday, then they'll have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to gallop over the racetrack, work on Friday. And then hopefully we just take it easy, school in the paddock, school in the gate, and uh, keep him healthy and happy. Lead him over and find out who's champion.